All right. I'm going to play a quick, this quick clip. It's rather disturbing, but uh, Prince Harry, so he's got his memoir out, and we, we talked about Prince Harry a little bit to, to, to start the week. Um, and we mentioned how he very much wants his privacy or claims that he does, and yet he's he, he did three, quote unquote, major interviews just this week. He's all over the place. Now he's got this memoir out. And even though he's someone who claims he wants privacy in his memoir, he, he's not only airing dirty laundry about his family, but he goes into a very intimate detail about himself and, and, and providing information that nobody asked for. And so I said that there was, there's one part apparently in the memoir where he talks about frostbite. Um, that he suffered on his genitalia, which is already too much information, already TMI. But then this was making the rounds on social media yesterday. There's here's the audiobook clip of that little passage, and it's way more disturbing than I even anticipated. Um, listen, my penis was oscillating between extremely sensitive and borderline traumatized. The last place I wanted to be was Frost Nippistan. I'd been trying some home remedies, including one recommended by a friend. She'd urged me to apply Elizabeth Arden cream. My mum used that on her lips. You want me to put that on my todger? It works, Harry. Trust me. I found a tube, and the minute I opened it, the smell transported me through time. I felt as if my mother was right there in the room. Then I took a smidge and applied it down there. Um, so, you, so it was reminding you of your, I, I don't know, it's like we don't want to break that down. I don't want to break that down any more than what we already heard there. And except to say that, yeah, it's just like, it, it's an interesting clip because it, it starts, it starts disturbing. Okay. We, we, we're beginning at the, at the beginning of this little 30 second clip, we hear about his, his penis being traumatized. Um, which is already too much, but then like, as it continues, it's just layers and layers. It's this, it's this, it's like the, the, a very creepy onion. And as you peel back the layers, it just gets worse and worse. And by the end, you're, you're, you're left with many more questions than you have answers. And they're questions that you never really wanted to ask to begin with. Except to say, you know, maybe the, the ultimate answer here is that this is actually very disturbed. This, this is like a disturbed person. Uh, Prince Harry is. And I also don't, I don't understand why we still call him Prince Harry. Maybe because nobody knows what's his last name. So it just, just saying Harry sounds weird. So that's the reason he still has the Prince thing going on. But it is a very disturbed person. And uh, he's somebody with mommy issues and, uh, and daddy issues and all kinds of issues. The new year will bring new problems as the left continues their vicious attack on religion and morality, but you and I can continue to fight the good fight by remaining rooted in our faith. The best way to do that is with Hallow. Hallow, the number one prayer app in the world, has everything I need to maintain a daily prayer routine. It's got over 6,000 audio guided prayers, meditations, and peaceful music playlists, plus daily reminders will encourage you to keep up with the routine. Start the new year with daily Bible readings and reflections from the number one Christian podcast, The Bible in a Year, or pray alongside Mark Wahlberg, Jim Caviezel, Jonathan Rumi. Um, just like physical exercise, daily spiritual exercise is critical to your well being, especially in a world where attacks on faith and religion are happening all around us every day. Try Hallow for three months free at hallow.com slash Matt Walsh. That's hallow.com slash Matt Walsh. It might also explain how he ended up with Meghan Markle in the first place. When we talked about this on Monday, I said that Meghan Markle is like the perfect, she's really the perfect model for men to look at uh, so that they can like look at her and everything about her and the way that she is and especially the way that she uh, uh, conducts herself in a marriage as a wife and then look at that and then find the opposite of that. Just find the opposite of everything about her and you'll be doing okay because all the red flags are there. And one of the major red flags for, for uh, Meghan Markle is that she has no respect for, for Harry's family. She hates his family, has no respect. There's another viral clip, and I was looking for it, and I couldn't find it. I didn't spend that much time looking for it. But there's another clip that in their, in their Netflix miniseries that, uh, that came out as part of their quest for privacy, and that came out back in December. And there's a now sort of infamous clip where she is um, making fun of uh, uh, 
Queen Elizabeth and making fun of like making a joke about the first time that she met Queen Elizabeth and just just like in, in this very mocking kind of eye rolling way. And meanwhile, Prince Harry is sitting there and you could tell he's not comfortable with having his family made fun of this way, especially in public on camera. But he's just sitting there like a, a you know, a little tame puppy dog. And so I said, one of the red flags you're looking for as, as a man when you're trying to find a wife is uh, if you find a, a woman and she doesn't respect your family, she hates your family, she wants to isolate you from your family and from your friends and people closest to you, that's a red flag. Uh, the question for, for Harry is, like, did, she, did he not know this about her? And I, more and more, I'm starting to think, well, he did know this about her, and that's one of the reasons that he married her. For him, the red flag was what attracted him because of all his family issues and the fact that, that she resents his family is part of the reason he married her. It was meant to be, you know, uh, a finger in the eye of, of his family and all the rest of it. That's the psychoanalysis, but I'll leave most of that for someone else. That'll do it for this portion of the show. As we move over to the members block, you can become a member today and use code Walsh at checkout for two months free on all annual plans. Hope to see you over there. If not, talk to you tomorrow, or rather, talk to you next week when we have two more kids. Um, Godspeed.